Hey guys, Tim here from Canon Tech TV. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, I do projector reviews on this channel, so I'd love for you to subscribe. So today we're taking another look at the M18 projector. This is one that's shown up on the channel a couple of times now. I did one video on this stating why I think this is the best 1080p budget option on Amazon. And this projector definitely excels with media and streaming services and things like that. So if you're gonna watch movies and TV shows, I would definitely recommend this projector. One of the other common questions I usually get is how does it do with gaming? So a lot of the time people are interested in that in these budget projectors and they wanna know, well, how does this do with gaming? Can I use it with a gaming setup? Definitely not for 480p. 720p is great for media and streaming Netflix, like I said, things like that. But with 720p, text isn't exactly crisp there. And that is definitely one of the biggest limitations when you're playing video games. So you know, a lot of time you're dealing with like small text in the bottom of the corner, or you got a map, or if you go into the settings and things like that, that's where you're gonna definitely notice a difference from 720p to 1080p. So with this being a 1080p projector, this definitely does have a bit more clarity in that regard. And that is why I think this is definitely a projector that you can use for gaming. Now, one of the games that I play a lot lately is the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And in that, there is a lot of text, like I mentioned. You know, you go in and out of the menu a lot, in and out of maps. And if you don't have good crisp text, then it's gonna be kind of hard to tell what you're doing in that game and everything. And setting up things like your weapons and materia and all that. Now for a comparison, I lately have tested out BenQ sent out the TH585 gaming projector and the TH685. And I did a full review of that TH585 one and I did a gaming review. So those cards will be up there in the top right corner. So check those out if you're interested in that. That's a, about a $600 model. So this is about a $200 model. Compared to that, obviously there's differences. I've really been using that BenQ one and for this video for testing, I went back to this M18. And the key differences are the TH585 from BenQ is definitely a little bit brighter. You know, the colors are a little bit more crisp and things like that. Um, I say the colors, you know, are a little bit more muted on the M18. You know, that's what you're seeing right now. And, you know, by no means is it a bad picture, but obviously there's going to be some differences in a $600 and $800 model versus a $200 model. So the other thing I noticed is with that M18, the dynamic range and kind of like the contrast and stuff, you're going to have a little bit of difficulty sometimes if you're getting into like very dark parts of the game and things like that, especially probably if you're playing this in sunlight and it's kind of getting washed out on top of that. That is one of the other things, obviously brightness wise, that BenQ one, I can get away with playing during the daytime when there's some sunlight coming in. The picture doesn't look the best, but it is doable. With this M18 projector, I have you know streamed football games and stuff on Sundays at one o'clock and just drawn all the blinds shut. And I've been able to see the screen pretty clear with a little bit of ambient light coming into the room. With gaming, you know, depending on how serious you're taking this, you probably don't want to play it during the middle of the day unless you can really control the lighting source. Nighttime, this is excellent, however. So if you do have a basement or you got some good blackout curtains, then this thing can look really awesome. So now this is native 1080p. It definitely looks good. And like I said, text is crisp and picture quality and everything. The refresh rate, so speaking of gaming, is 60 hertz. I had no issues with it. Like I said, I've been using this for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And you know, there's a lot of action and a lot of movement in that. And I didn't have any issues with that. Um, the other thing I use this for was for Red Dead Redemption 2. And you know, you can see some of those clips in here as well. And again, I thought everything looked good. I definitely could see people using this as a gaming projector. And at 200 bucks, I think that's a pretty sweet spot. And I think a lot of people would be very happy with this gaming setup. Now this projector does have two HDMI inputs as well. So you could hook up say like a PS4 or an Xbox in one HDMI port. And then you do have a second port that you can switch between. Say if you wanna hook up a Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, you know, an Android TV box, something like that. And that's great because then you can use it for media and for your PlayStation. And you can basically just use the source button to go back and forth without having to rehook up things every time. And just a couple other things to note, you know, maybe some negatives with this projector is you definitely do want to have your screen set up as level as you can from the start. So if you have a real big discrepancy where you've got this on a low table and you're trying to angle it up high at the wall, you don't really want to have to use the vertical keystone correction on here. If you need to make some minor adjustments, then that is fine. But if you're really using that keystone wheel and overusing it, 
that's where sometimes you can get a little bit of blurring around the edges if you're doing some things like this with video games like it might not really make that big of a difference for you but that's definitely something i'd say make sure you set it up as level as you can vankio does make a projector tripod that i use that they had sent out a while ago when i was doing one of their reviews for them and it has basically a little crank on it where you can actually raise that platform up and down so I'll put that down there below in the description. That's the one that I use with this projector and you can basically raise it up pretty high and then you can use the little screw on the bottom of the projector to angle it upward a little bit more if you need to and then use that keystone to kind of correct it on the wall. Now Vankyo at least did release an upgraded model of this. There's like the Vankyo V630 that is retailing right now on Amazon for $250. What that gets you is it's supposed to be brighter and it looks like they have an electronic keystone versus the manual keystone on this one. So if you have a little bit more money to spend, that's maybe something to look into. They always have pretty highly rated projectors on there. It's basically right now got a 4.7 out of 5 star rating on about 950 reviews. So that's something to look into possibly. But like I mentioned, this M18 projector, all kinds of sellers have this one. I'll put a link down there below to the M18 projector and you can kind of see maybe shop around some of the other sellers and see what kind of deal you can get. But I really think you should be able to find this under $200. Uh, Vanky themselves was even running a special back around a few months ago where you could get it for I think like $160, $170 in that price range. So keep an eye out. One of the other complaints with this projector model is the fan noise. Honestly, it's not much louder than a lot of the other budget projectors that I've gotten used to, but for some people it is kind of loud. The workaround with that is A, don't have it set up right next to you. You know, if you can kind of set it up a little bit further away, that's definitely going to help. Number two, this does have an audio app. And so you can use an auxiliary cable or you can use a Bluetooth transmitter to take the sound to an external speaker, which I'd highly recommend. A, it's going to give you much better sound and B, you're going to be able to help drown out some of that fan noise. So it was kind of a double bonus. Now I made a video on how to use a Bluetooth transmitter and basically hook up your projector to a set of Bluetooth speakers. That's popping up right now in that upper right hand corner. So I think this is a very awesome and capable projector setup, especially at that $200 range. And if you hook this up to some external speakers you can get a really sweet setup but like i mentioned i have some other reviews on this projector as well i did a full review kind of showing more with media streaming and things like that if you don't think this one's for you and you want to step it up a little bit and go up to the next tier that banq th585 is an awesome projector as well I love it. It's honestly my favorite one that I've tried out so far. So you'll be seeing the full review of the M18 popping up here, as well as that BenQ TH585 one. So click on that video right now if you are interested in that. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content and drop a like if it was helpful. And I'll see you guys on the next one.